All right. Next part of the garage door code is to figure out how to get this trolley cart to travel an eight foot distance and stop. Think of it like on an actual garage door opener itself. It's hooked up to the door by what they call it a trolley. So that guy right there is the trolley. You push the button, it drives the whole track, and it stops where it's supposed to stop, and then drives back and parks. That distance is the distance of the door's height. An eight foot garage door, an eight foot travel. Okay, well we have to figure out us on our floor, I got a crack in the concrete or a cut line there, and one back here, eight feet apart. So this is my little trolley. I want to have it drive eight feet and stop. Okay, eight feet and stop. Um, what we have here, maybe you can see I have three wheels on the left side. This is a green box, and the front is the battery pack. Um, on the front, that sensor is a future lesson, you'll see it. Um, on the back, you know this device pretty well. Is that one called? Yep, it's a limit switch. Over here, hoping to make me too dizzy, is that quadratic encoder, or it's called the drive shaft axle counter. It's hooked up and counting number of spins, okay? Uh, my robot, to make it work, is I had to put a motor somewhere down in there. It's driving to a gear, which drives a gear to a gear to a gear. So this is geared. I have a 12 tooth gear spinning a 60 tooth gear. So 12 tooth driver, 60 tooth driven. It's a five to one gear ratio. So it takes five motor spins to make one wheel spin. Okay. Um, the coating on this looks something like this. So some things you haven't seen yet, some things you have seen. So, so far, let's cancel this program. Okay. So nothing too different. Um, you see a task main. Here's our beginning, our start of program code. Some code, code, code. Then I have my end of program code down here. Okay. Um, up here. Remember last video, last uh, assignment, paper towel dispenser? We use a lot of sensor value codes. It's taking the value of the sensor. So it's saying right now, uh, let's say you have iTunes. Well, how many, how much money do you have in your iTunes account? If it's zero, it's zero. So the sensor value is the value of that sensor. I'm having mine at the beginning have the sensor's value go to zero, meaning start, make it factory settings, make it zero, all right? Then it goes uh, an until bump, motor start. The weight code is the new one, wait until. We're saying don't stop the motor until something happens. Say so saying, hey, um, don't go outside until it stopped raining. Or don't go outside until that swarm of bees has flown away. So don't stop turning until that sensor's value hits a number that we kind of set in there. So real quick here, I'm waiting till 3,600. That's blurry, I'm sorry. Better or worse? Better or worse? So three to 600, how many spins is that? How many per one spin? Then turn both motors off, okay? So I'm gonna download a robot, give it a try, then just figure out how to make it better. So download the robot, I'll push start, and test the robot. Let's give it a try. Okay. Unplug the robot. This we haven't done yet with you guys. We're gonna power off the robot, power on the robot, and I push start. It's gonna drive. And tell this is that number. That's blurry. I'm sorry. Okay, uh oh. 
Is that anywhere near eight feet? No, it went that far and stopped, which makes sense, okay? And I'll show you why it makes sense. It didn't go eight feet. So let's watch. Um, yeah, look at that. A garage whiteboard. Who else has garage whiteboards? Anyone? A garage whiteboard? No? Yes? Ah, it's too bad. Okay, here it goes. Why didn't it work? Calculator. And let's figure this out. So, we know we have a five to one system. Five motor spins makes one wheel spin. All right? So we want to travel eight feet. Eight feet, we got to figure out how far that is um, to drive. Well, the last project, we took the wheel circumference and used it to figure out lengths, right? We'll have smaller wheels. And those wheels I measured, circumference is 8.75 inches, all right? Inches, well, 96 inches is eight feet, right? How many wheel spins will it take to get that far? So 8.75 divides into 96, how many times? Anybody know? Let's find out. It's about 10 point, we'll call it 9.8 wheel spins, all right? So that many wheel spins. However, because we're five to one, I need five times that number of spins. So five times that number of spins, I need 54.86. I need 54.86 motor spins. We're gonna equal 10.89 wheel spins. Why? Because it's five to one. But now the, the, the device, that uh, quad arc encounter, counts how many ticks per full lap, remember that? 360 ticks per full lap. So this many motor spins is how many ticks times 360, right? It's about 19,748. So you need 19,748 ticks to move 54 axle revolutions to move 10.98 wheel revolutions to move 96 inches. Okay, let's try that out. I bet you cut half the stuff off, didn't I, in the video? Yeah, most of it's cut off, that's fine. So 19,748, let's go back. So I need, not 3,600, now it's nowhere near, right? I need 19,000 19,748 of those guys. Plug the robot back in. Download the robot. If you kind of watch here too, it might or might not, let's find out. Okay, see here, it says my current setting on my quad arc counter. 3,700, I push start, it goes to what? Zero, see that? Because task main, set your value, count zero, it's there. Okay, unplug the robot. And then let's check it out. We'll move the camera down to the eight foot mark. We're confident. We're there, are we? You see it okay? No? I apologize. And let it go. Why didn't it work? That's right, power cycle. Power off, power on. Now let it run. Little off on my trappy. Is it work? Uh oh. Getting closer.
Okay, look at that. So that stopped right on that line. Pretty crazy, huh? So that's kind of how you set the limits for, say, your, your garage door. But now what if that was not enough? What if you went to your garage door, pushed a button, didn't close enough? What do you do? Add more revolutions. Maybe it's 19,760. If you went too far, a few less. 19,740. All right? But now, to go back, because your garage door opener, you push a button, what happens? It closes, push a button, it opens. Now open. Open. Uh-oh. That's the next lesson. All right, thank you.